Good morning. Pastor Don here on a Friday, July the 1st. Yep, it's the end of the week, and uh, it's a holiday weekend coming up, the Independence Day celebration. The time of the year when we celebrate uh, the freedom that we gained from uh, England and the oppression and the taxation that uh, resulted in the independence of our, our country. And yes, today we celebrate that independence. We are a free nation, uh, unlike so many in the world today. And so how you choose to celebrate is um, certainly a matter of choice. I hope you've got some plans today. Uh, if they involve travel, I, I hope it goes well, considering all the congestion that's out there in the world today. Uh, but if you choose to stay home, uh, you can celebrate as well by uh, spending a little time reflecting on what it means to be part of a free nation. Today, I want to talk about a different kind of freedom, a freedom that exists for those of us who are in Christ Jesus. Today, I want to preview the scripture lesson that will be part of Sunday's message, and it's all about the call to be a disciple, about the call to proclaim Jesus' love in the world today. Not an easy call, not an easy thing to do, but it's part of being free in Jesus Christ, part of the responsibility that we all have. So let me read to you today from Luke in the 10th chapter. After this, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. And he said to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whenever, whatever house you enter, first say peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it'll return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the laborer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick who are there and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not welcome you, go out into its streets and say, even the dust of your town that clings to our feet, we wipe off and protest against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God has come near. Whoever listens to you listens to me, and whoever rejects you rejects me, and whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me. Well, the scripture goes on. There'll be more uh, this Sunday in my message, but uh, uh, the central point that I wanted to make today is that we stand in a long progression from first the 12, then the 70, and over the centuries, uh, the millions, countless millions more who are followers of Jesus Christ. And what we're called to do is no different than what these 70 were called to do in today's uh, scripture reading. We're called to go out and uh, proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. How we do that is uh, always an individual matter. Some of us, uh, are called to proclaim the good news as clergy. Some are called to proclaim the good news, not so much in words, but by how we treat other people, how we accept other people, how we view other people as created in Christ's image and loved unconditionally. So in this uh, fractious world that we live in today that has so many problems and is so divisive, uh, we have a unique opportunity to be uh, a uniting force to proclaim Christ's love in myriad ways. So I hope you reflect a little bit on what it means to be part of the called, to be sent out into the world in all the places that we go, 
and all the people that we meet to somehow uh, proclaim Christ's love for the world. So I hope that um, this message resonates for you at the end of this week. I hope that you'll have the opportunity this week to either attend church, either at Rock of Ages in Wildwood, Florida, or online, or at a church of your choosing. But uh, until we meet again next Monday, I pray that you have a, a blessed weekend and be safe, be healthy, and God bless.